I did this one Monday, but you haven't heard it. Yeah. So I'll try it again. It says it was kind of weird doing it for such a small crowd. It feels so strange. <laughs> I loved you like a fairy tale. I, your Prince Valiant, released you from your tower of discontent. I washed away your witches. I defeated all your dragons. I gobbled up your goblins. You said I was your hero. I took you by your hand and led you safely through the wilderness of your apprehensions, beyond your forest of self-doubt, across the violent rivers of your past, to an open field of jasmine possibilities, lilac daydreams, and honeysuckle hopes. I dressed your wounds, I nourished your emaciated self-esteem, kept you fed on a balanced diet of compliments, positive affirmations, and affection until you were strong enough to tend for yourself, but little did I know that once you got your bearings, you'd run off seeking adventure. But the last I remember, your last adventure, Got you locked away in a tower. Mm. But you said you needed time. So I surrendered my calendar and arm wrestled the hands of every clock I could find. You asked for space, so I sent you on an all expense paid tour of the galaxy. But even on a road trip through the cosmos, you complained about the potholes. You never were satisfied. And I knew this. Even still, I carried a slow burning lantern along the rings of Saturn, dripping beads of wax, hoping to create a constellation you'd be happy with. I treated you like you were my most current breath, so much more precious than my last, with the knowledge that each breath could be my last, I cherished you. I kept you exalted, catching crooks in my neck every time I try to look up at you, perched perfectly on that pedestal I placed you on, so blinded by your glare that I didn't even notice when you fell, and still caught you just in time to not even notice or recognize what I was saving. I should have let you hit the ground. I should have let you hurt yourself. In the end, we both would have been better off.